the church is growing. Um, right now they're sitting at about, I think around 10,000 members. It's probably around 12, 1200 at this point. Um, they were usually actually sitting around a, a 50% retention rate, which is actually very good. I mean, it, it was a wonderful thing to see through. I actually was in my mission. I saw a transition from when I first got there to baptize, baptize, baptize. When we became, you know, we were still wanting to baptize, of course, but it became more retention and testimony and focusing on the deeper underlying focus of what we were doing as missionaries, um, within the church. There's, there's a lot of leadership. We have three stakes in the capital. Um, one province that's getting a stake here soon, I believe. And then one, two, three, four, five outlying branches or provinces, some of which have wards, uh, most of which are branches still. Uh, I served eight months in one area that had two branches. Um, and I, that, was, that was my home. Um, as far as within the church, I mean, we had, when I first got there, about 60 missionaries, 65 missionaries, and I think it's it's around 70 to 80 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as far as the church itself goes, it's, it's, a tra it's a very unique form of the church because you have so many incoming values. I mean, you have a, a bishop that, you know, is maybe 50, 60 years old that was baptized three or four years before who was raised Protestant or Catholic. And so he's changing as much as everybody else is. So you'll have a lot of a, a giant learning curve. I mean, I remember times in my branch that we would find, you know, 11 or 10 year old boys helping with, with the sacrament. And so it's just, you have to be ready for these little, little things that you have to fix. I mean, it's not necessarily apostasy, but it's, it's little things to help these people become better and just recognize they're growing and the church is, is just taking off for them. And so just focusing on what they need and, and yeah.